What you guys got another quick video here for you now finally windows is doing something about ransomware and they're trying to protect your data against ransomware now in the latest version of windows 10 creators update they've added a feature in which can help protect against ransomware now i'm not saying it's going to be 100 percent foolproof but it is a good start and it's a good uh, stepping stone to uh, fix uh, the issue against ransomware so let's go ahead and take a look at it click on the start then settings and then inside here we want to go to update and set and security once we're in here we're going to go into the windows defender now if you are using windows defender uh, and i see no reason why not to uh, in windows 10 creators update you can open up this uh, windows defender security now once you're inside here let me just drop the background away so we can see here and i'll go full screen here now once we're inside here we can then go through uh, here you've got some little tabs on the side here and once you click on the shield mark here you can also come down to where it says uh, virus and protection settings click on this one and you'll get the usual real-time protection cloud delivery protection automatic sample submission and you'll see a new area straight here called control folder access we're going to enable this this is a new feature say yes to the user account control and this will then give you a little area where you can start to protect uh, folders you can see here protected folders allow an app through controlled folder access so you've got access here to change here now you can do this in a group policy as well and i'll show you a bit of that in a second but as you can see here we've got our documents pictures and videos uh, music desktop and favorites now you can also add in another area if you want to if you've got a particular area which you want to add in you can do hopefully in a later video uh, i'll be able to test this for you to see how good it is against ransomware and uh, you can add in other folders just here it's very simple and easy to do now also on this area here which i wanted to take a look at uh, was the uh, allow an app through the controlled access and you can see here if you've got an app that you want to allow through to access this area you can click on the plus sign here and then you can add an app that you want to allow to go through uh, that area it's very easy to do okay you just navigate to the area where you want to go and uh, pick that app that you want to go through uh, the your settings here so for instance you'd go into your C drive here and in here you would pick an app that you want to allow to go through okay pretty straightforward and easy to do we'll cover this more in a later video where we can test it but it's a really good step from Microsoft to try and help you uh, protect your uh, data against ransomware now I did say that you can do this in the group policy if you want to get a bit more geeky about it and uh, we're going to take a look at that right now so we're going to go down to here you will need a Windows uh, 10 Pro and above we're going to go to GP edit and you can do dot MSC and we're going to click on this one here this will open up the group policy editor now inside here what you're looking for is the computer configuration and then we're going to come down to administrative templates pull this down here Windows components pull that open and inside here we're looking for Windows Defender Windows Defender and just let me expand once we've got that expanded we can then go down here and you can see here there's an area on the right hand pane here Windows Defender exploit guard inside here you'll get three folders and you can see here network protection controlled folder access and attack uh, surface reduction and you can see here inside the controlled folder access now you do have three options available once you get into here configure allowed applications configure controlled uh, folder access and also configure protected folders now it depends on what you want to do here but we're going to take a dive into the configure controlled folder access inside here this will give you uh, access to a panel where you can go enable and you can see on the right hand side here it does give you some information of what this is actually going to do so if we do block 
you can see block, is, block untrusted applications that cannot modify or delete files in the protected folders such as documents folder and then disable is all applications can modify and delete files and protected folders such as documents folder so this is uh, just leaving it as it is basically and then you've got the uh, audit mode which is applications that would normally be considered untrusted if the settings enabled will still be able to modify and delete files so the real uh, deal here is block and if you block those that would be then set in stone and that will be that they shouldn't be able to edit any of those uh, areas in that location so even if you did get one drop on the system uh, all your data should be protected there now also uh, you can configure protected folders uh, by coming into this one as well and this just gives you a little bit more um, scope here to uh, change stuff up so you can see here we've got a little another prompt box here and you can add in whatever you like here so you can see here specify additional folders and uh, that should be granted by the controlled folder access feature so you can add them inside here so files in these folders cannot be modified or deleted by untrusted applications so if you want to go down this more complex route then you can do and this is why I love Windows 10 Pro so much uh, rather than the home version because it gives you a little bit more power to uh, do stuff in a more professional manner and that's pretty much it so let me just undo this area here uh, because we'll cover that in another video and if you want to see more about this sort of stuff and test it out then let me know in the comments section below anyway that's basically the new feature in Windows 10 uh, creators update uh, to protect yourself against ransomware and finally Microsoft has done something about it anyway I hope this one helps you out have a great weekend my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now <laughs>